Hey guys, welcome back to Comparing AI, where we explore AI together. In this video, I found two AI search tools that are exploding in volume, which could potentially replace Google search for you. And the interesting part is these tools aren't coming out in the future. You can start using them right now for free, and it's already better than Google search. In some cases, you can start learning faster. You can research much faster. And I'm going to show you how in this video. So let's get into it. We're going to jump into my computer and go over these two tools. So the tools I'm covering today are called Perplexity AI and then Poe, which is developed by Quora, the large question and answers website. And in this video, we're going to do kind of an exercise. I'm going to quickly overview both of these platforms to show you how they work. And then I'm going to open Google search Perplexity and Poe. And we're going to ask it the three same questions about leasing a car and show you how they respond. And basically, you're going to see how you can use it to learn about topics and research topics much faster using these AI tools. And I was quite surprised how much better they are than Google search already for this use case. And if you're interested in finding the coolest AI tools, you can visit Comparing AI to get your free list of 25 AI tools that will be linked in the description. So let's jump in perplexity AI. This is a Google killer and I want to show you the search volume. So if we go to Google keyword plan, where you can see the search volumes. Uh, this came out very recently, it looks like, and it went from like no search volume 480 all the way up to 90,000 in a month. So it's going super viral. And if we look at Quora AI or Poe, uh, this is starting to have its first little spike as well. And I predict it's going to keep going. So what is first of all perplexity? So you can see the popular topics now or ask anything. And let's click on a popular one. LeBron James versus Michael Jordan debate. And it gives you an answer right here, kind of like the Google snippet or when you search on Google and it gives you your answer at the top. Uh, however, the difference here compared to like ChatGPT and other tools is it uses references from the top ranking blog. So it says the debate between LeBron James and Michael Jordan is ongoing with both players having their own unique strength. Raptors head coach has tied him as one of the goats while Ray Allen believes LeBron is a product of MJ's influence, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can see the five sources and you can click to any of these websites to see the entire article. And I did cover Perplexity AI briefly in my video the other day. I recommend you checking that out, but that's Perplexity. And then you can ask follow-up questions here. So it's like LeBron James versus Michael Jordan head to head and it'll give you an answer, or I don't know much about basketball, so where did Jordan play? And as you can see, it gives me a really good answer. Michael Jordan played 15 seasons in the NBA, 13 of which are with the Chicago Bulls. Pulling all this data from these sources, and that is the key part, is it's using these sources, and you can keep asking follow-up questions, going deeper and deeper, learning about a topic. Obviously, if we go through Google search, you have to open all these websites, whereas here, it's just giving you the answers from the websites itself in a summarized form, which is really powerful. And I've been using this tool already more and more as the days go by compared to Google. Now, the next one is called Poe, which is from Quora, and it's only available on the App Store, I believe. But this is a little bit different. It's kind of more like ChatGPT. And if we look at this TechCrunch article, it's currently only available on iOS. Poe provides access to several text generating AI models. So you can talk to different AI bots, which have different knowledge on different topics. And They've designed this to be the best way for someone to get an instant answer to any question they have using natural conversation. Uh, just one more article here. They aim to become a one-stop destination for all AI chatbot interaction. You can get instant answers and have back and forth dialogue with AI. Uh, they opened this up very recently, February 3rd to the public, lets you ask questions, get instant answers. So if you've seen Quora, essentially this is a question and answer site. You might've seen it before. It's quite popular. But Poe's goal is to become a bot aggregator of sorts, helping users access different chatbots, optimized for different tasks from a single app. While there'll be several models like ChatGPT and ChatGPT itself in the near future, they will represent different points of view or they will have access to different knowledge. So to show you that, I have to take you over to my phone because it's only available on your phone right now. So here we go. The first thing I asked was, what are some crypto trends for 2023? Then it started popping up things, uh, more mainstream adoption, continued growth of DeFi. Uh, if you're not in crypto, these are basically, this is a good answer. Uh, but it's all the things you would expect. But then I asked a follow-up question looking for some lesser known crypto trends that aren't really talked about. And for that, I started to get a really good answer, decentralized identity and a very more nuanced answer. And basically you don't have to know about crypto. This is just an example to show you how Poe works. And I got some really good answers here that I like. So essentially that's Poe. You also have, you also have some random things like you can say, tell me a math joke, 
or it has just different topics you can explore. I still don't know how to use it fully, but you can get summaries of books. So I asked for a summary on this. Uh, you can get summaries of things. You can see different topics, see what other people are talking about and so on. So that is the Poe app. So now let's put both of these in action against Google Chrome or just Google search and see how it answers these three questions. So let's start with perplexity AI. Uh, we're gonna open a new thread and ask me anything. So let's just ask a general question. What do I have to know about leasing a car? Before leasing a car, there are several important factors to consider, such as the monthly cost, mileage, buyout price, vehicle cost, etc. So it always gives you this snippet, which is like, I don't know how many words, like 50 to 100 words, and it gives you the sources. And then the next question, how much down payment is required to lease a car? And then you also get these related ones here, which I think is really helpful. So the pros and cons, that's something I do want to ask, but we're going to stick with my template here. And here, I didn't really get the best answer. Maybe because the number was there. Let me see. How much down payment do you need to lease a car? So it's not really giving me a full answer here, such as a number, like a percentage or something like that. Let me just try asking in a different ways to see if I can get the answer. There we go. How much does it cost to lease a car? The average monthly payment is 506. How much is it to lease a car? in Toronto, Canada. And the cool thing with perplexity is you can ask very nuanced questions such as location-based questions. So in my other video, I asked it about crypto exchanges in Canada and it was telling me which ones are banned in Canada, which ones are still allowed uh, because it can pull from the local blogs and take the information that it's showing them. And it gave me very accurate answers. And for this answer, for instance, uh, it mentions websites like Kijiji because in Canada, we don't really use Craigslist. We use Kijiji. So it's cool that it shows these nuanced answers based on the region. So this is Perplexity AI. Let me ask one more question. How much is it to lease a Lamborghini? Now it wasn't really giving us good answers to the one before, but here it gives us an answer if you give a specific model. So I guess Perplexity AI is better if you're asking very specific questions. But here it says leasing a Lambo starts at around $2,700 per month, but can be as low as $1,500 for used models. An Aventador S Coupe recently had a monthly lease price of six k in Austin, whereas a Huracan had a $2,800 in Chicago. Very cool. That's kind of the answer we're looking for right there. So that's Perplexity. Let me take you. Let me take you to Google Chrome actually. Obviously, if you go to Google Chrome, you get all these blog posts. Now you do get a snippet up here. You have to scroll down after some ads, that's fine. Car lease allows you to drive a brand new vehicle for a fixed period at an agreed monthly rate. So it doesn't give you a ton of information. Again, if we compare that to perplexity, what do I have to know? Also doesn't give you a ton of information. It gives you sources, but then you can dig deeper on the questions, which makes it really helpful. Google, you actually have to open up all these blogs, obviously, and read through them. Let's see if Google answers this better. How much down payment is required? So here we get a pretty good answer. Aim to put at least 20% of the car's total purchase price to get the best rates. If you can't afford that, don't worry, you're still very eligible for an auto loan. You might have to pay higher rates. So that was better than perplexity. Now let's see how much is it to lease a Lamborghini. In Canada, you can expect to pay between 3,500 and 8,000 per month to lease a new Lamborghini. So that's just pulling from one blog here, Finder, and giving the answer. Like not a bad answer, but the one compared to perplexity, it's night and day. This is such a better answer. It gives you different locations and stuff like that. On Google, it knows that I'm in Canada. So let me ask perplexity, how much is it to lease a Lamborghini? in Toronto. So it looks like perplexity gives you much better answers for specific questions. If you're looking at things that are very general, such as what do I have to know about leasing a car? It gives you a good answer, but it's better when it's specific. And Google is established and gives you good answers, but not really detailed and you have to open all these blogs. And obviously, Perplexity is brand new. Google has been around for so long. This is a brand new app that is just starting to take off. Now let's look at the last one, Poe, and see how that responds. And what you'll see with Poe, as we get the first question here, is it's really good for just general information because it's giving you sources as well. So I can click the lease term. Oh, I stand corrected. You cannot click these blue links, by the way, but it's giving you really good info that is based off, I guess, its data set from the Quora website. Oh, I see what I did there. So if you click the lease term, it puts that into the follow-up question here. And you see we're getting way more info than Google and perplexity here. And this is really cool. So let's just quickly go through that. It talks about the lease term, the monthly payments, the mileage limit, maintenance cost, all this info. Very cool. And if you click on one of these buttons, then it will put that in there. Tell me about the lease term and give you more info. 
Let's try the down payment question. So typically a down payment is zero to several thousand dollars. Some leasing companies may require a down payment. So I was hoping it would give me a percentage and it did not, but it gives you a lot of useful info still. And let's do the last one. As of 2021, the average monthly lease for a Lambo was around two to three K. However, this can vary depending on the specific model and lease terms. It's a very good answer here, very in depth. And let's click on that. There we go. Tell me more about two to three K. And look at this. Very cool. So let's summarize this video. I think these are both awesome tools to have next to Google Chrome. And in some cases, these are much better than Google search. I'm starting to use perplexity more. I think Poe is really interesting to have on your phone. And if you want to research topics, you saw the example. This gives you some really cool answers and ways you can start learning in different ways and kind of just like learning faster and just getting the answer. You don't have to start opening a bunch of tabs on Google. Very cool. I hope you found these tools useful. Subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos if you want more tools. And if you want a free list of 25 AI tools, just go to comparing.ai and I will send you a link to this spreadsheet with all these cool AI tools that I've been trying.